Hello there, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Engage. In the last episode, we beat Corin, even though I didn't do it in a good way. I was shite. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to uh, go back to the Somniel. We're going to do that. We're going to do the next story mission. The reason why, if you're thinking, well, can't you do the Fels End log now because you do another Divine Power Logs? It's true. But um, I need to think about what I'm doing. And also, I need to commit like five or six hours to that. And I don't have five or six hours at this moment in time. So I need to pace myself a little bit. And do it at a time that's better suited to when I can really commit. Incredible! I was overwhelmed by your attacks and I to have faced you in combat. Indeed. I can put my feet back on now. Corin! I believe in you. Bond is currently ten. Now I can get it up to 20, though. Berries, too. Cool. Who are you? You're a little, little doggo. It's fine. Right. Depart for the Somniel Shuffle once more. And then we will do the next story mission. And that will be four videos I recorded today, so that's pretty good going. Sometimes I don't do any. A lot of days I can't do any because of work, but... See, I'll level up level 24. More speed, more death, more res, more luck, more HP. And fam level up level 12. Speed, defense, strength, and HP. All things we want and like. Okay, and then now that I've got some skills I can inherit, I can see what happens when I get to level 20 with Corin and get up to 15 out health. I can get quality time plus if I wait or act to restore 10 HP to adjacent allies and slightly increase support with them. Which is good. I can pair up, prevents damage from foes chain attacks against unit. Which is a main thing in Fates, you can put two people on the same tile basically. And they don't both get to attack, but you get to increase stats. I can get more hit. And I just, in general, just get way more health, which is good. Um, yeah. Okay. Getting dual assist plus will be helpful. The magic and res just to make me like a super and killer or mage killer would also be quite good. But we just have to do that by playing more. Right. So, let's have a look at the supports. We've got a few, Saline and Kigetsu. Well, look what we have here. It is Princess Saline of Firene. I trust you are well today, Princess Saline. Shall we take tea? Always brimming with energy, aren't you? Naturally. My spirits are constantly rising. I have plenty of cheer to share. Unfortunately, I've just come from tea time. But I should be happy to take you up on that offer at a later date. That is disappointing. Perhaps you will indulge me in a round of mock combat, then. Exercise is always good just after tea. Come now, show me your skill. <laughs> hmm? What is amusing to you? One moment you invite me to tea, and the next you challenge me to arms. There aren't many who would behave that way around a princess. You're a funny one. <laughs> Flattery will not get you anywhere. I shall pass on both the tea and the combat, but the two of us must sit and chat sometime. Of course. That is what friends do. Indeed it is. <sighs> and friends kiss each other, as is tradition. Alfred and Ivy. <sighs> Princess Ivy, we've got to stop meeting at this hour. Prince Alfred, is it not past your bedtime? Oh, I'm not up late. I just got up early this morning. <sighs> I am not sure this hour is sufficiently late to qualify as early. So what are you still doing up, anyway? I couldn't sleep. I think it would be even harder to sleep out here, with it being so bright and all. No, I prefer it here, actually. Hmm. Strong wind tonight, isn't it? Sounds like a howling ghost the way it blows through the trees. What are you suggesting? 
You can be straight with me, Princess Ivy. You were scared to be alone in your room, huh? Uh, how dare you? Hey, there's no shame in it. The wind scared me too. When I was a kid, I'd crawl under the sheets and stay there all night. I am no child. When you get creeped out, think of something fun instead. You'll be asleep before you know it. That's what my mother told me. After that, I slept like a log every single night. Uh, I will return to bed. Sleep is restorative to one's health, as they say. Nighty night! Don't let the strong wind fright! Thank you. Alfred, he's just, he's just a lad, you know, he's, he's, he's cool. He's just a, a, a bit airheaded, but he, he's, a, he's a good lad. He's not doing anything wrong to anyone. Let's go to the world map and do the next story mission. I call everyone a lad. <laughs> Anyone who's good is a lad, okay? But he's a bit airheaded, but he's trying his best. That's the main thing. I might have to start using some second seals soon. I mean, this fight that I'm going to do now is basically going to be fuck all experience for the whole of it, isn't it? Remember that in merciless mode, um, you get no uh, skirmishes at all until after you beat the game. Right. Well, planning their next move after getting a new ring, the Divine Dragon's army receives a report. Seashore Travels. With Emblem Corin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. Right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lynn, Lucina, Ike, Byleth, and now Corin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Leaf, and Roy. As well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Are you proposing we invade Illusia? Returning to Illusia already. Yeah, that's gotta be complicated. Indeed. But, that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. When we're not ready to take the offensive. Rock in a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Vander, what is it? Word from the port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firinair. My kingdom. We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure coast. It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. <laughs> Smooth sailing. At this rate, we'll be the first ones in Firene. It would seem so. I wonder why Zephia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zephia's really taken a shine to us. Don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <sighs> See, this is why I can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavir. You got something to report? Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. Whatever. Leave them be. What 
catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. Uh, but they took an emblem ring. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twins. Warships are already in pursuit. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers, what are their names? Rosado and Gold Mary. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. All right. Turn this ship around. Take us to the coast of Solm. Ugh. We were in the lead. Those two are in heaps of trouble. Yeah, so Gris became Gregory. We're in Solm now. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Zephyr is Zephystia. Or oh, Zephystia. So similar names, but Marvia is just Marvia. He hasn't changed his name at all. But Marnie's name also changed, but I can't remember what they changed it to. But it, her name isn't Marnie in the, the, the version. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia. We have to make sure she gets the ring of the Azure Twins. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Gold Mary. So I need to bring Hortensia with me, I think. That's an Illusion fleet, all right. And it does look to be headed toward Firene. We have to get there before they do. That'd be nice, but look. We've got Illusion soldiers on the beach. You want to attack again, huh? I'll give you a good old-fashioned Solmic welcome. That's not enough troops for an invasion. It looks more like a search party. Divine One! There's a Wyvern coming this way! They must have spotted us. Everyone, at the ready! Hold on! Rosado? Gold Mary! <laughs> Hortensia! You're not hurt, are you? I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! I'm on the Divine Dragon's side now. My sister is too. Princess Ivy as well? If you're being held against your will, blink three times. I swear, it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Um, Divine One? Sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Is this... The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going! <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore calm, emblem of the sacred. Oh, you finally, I am returned to your side. 
My name is Erica. I raise mm -hmm. my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. You were too, Gold Mary. But there's no time to argue, is there? Lend me the ring and I promise I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. Finally! This is where those thieves ran off to, right? By all accounts, yes. Now, we sniff them out. Okay, so I have to bring them, that's why I thought we'd, would be the case. They're level 3 second class tier units, but that's not important. Erica is another one I know not a lot about. That's okay. Okay. Who do we want to bring? Like, yeah, I still think Louis and uh, Etia are more than strong enough for a while for me not to care. But I, well, I don't actually need to bring Hortensia now because she, they already told them all about this, so it's fine. But all of my guys are so overpowered. But I don't want to bring like random people because it seems a bit pointless. I do want to keep getting Bond and stuff. So I guess Bruchon doesn't need to be here. Well, but then who would I replace them with, honestly? I mean, Louis for defense, probably, is the actual answer. But he's one of the lower level people, so... Okay, I think I'm fine as it is. It's fine. Let's go. Zardo and Gold, no, you join the group. <gasps> Moments ago, the beach was dry, and now the water is up to my ankles. The tide here seems to rise and fall at a moment's notice. Try to keep me on dry land, will you? Ugh, I'd hate to be stuck tromping around in the water. Defeat Marnie and Marvier. Have they got their own emblem rings? No. They haven't brought any with them. Right, so there's a house I can save. So I need to get a flyer over there. Toot sweet. As fast as possible. I mean, it's a bad call, but I could do it still. I won't get lost. Let's go. Devoted to you. Does the fire breath have a range of three? Yeah, it does. I'm just trying to think of the best way of doing this. It seems like it's res. Oh, it's res and defense are both 25, so high enough that it doesn't matter. Our side's cuter for sure, but by the looks of it, theirs might be tougher. Worry not, Rosado. With my power, you can punch through even the hardiest foe's defenses. You may also call upon my twin brother's abilities if you like. Emblem Erica switched to the twin brother Ephraim to adapt to different situations. The sk sync skill Lunar Brace increases damage down proportion to the foe's defense. The engaged weapon Rapier does bonus damage against cavalry and armored foes. The engaged skill Sacred Twins enables the unit to invoke Erica and Ephraim's skills simultaneously. The engaged skill Twin Strike hits when both sword and lance, making it easier to break foes and deals bonus damage against the corrupted. Yeah, I don't know a huge amount about them. That's just me being honest. If I can twin strike at least, get some damage on the board early. I cannot allow this. Don't want to use them too much because their XP is not valuable. It's only ten. What's our move? 
can Ivy do more than 10? I'm sure she can. Yeah, 16, okay. Right, okay, so now, like I said, Chloe needs to get up, out and about as fast as possible. The stage is mine. She's not super duper powerful, so we've got to be a bit careful, but she's fast enough that she isn't going to get doubled by any of these fucking clowns. Where do I want to send Jean? I guess I'll send Jean up here. Bram can come down here. We'll just keep going in the forward offensive. The shoal is uh, when the water's up, I get very low resistance. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore them and just keep going. Right, Saline can go down here. Come on then! You fool. <laughs> Don't know if I've got any antitoxins or not, but we can figure it out. Yeah, I'm not going to get much XP at all, but that's fine. Right. Yeah, I've got antitoxins. Go Better be careful not to get caught by their bullshit. turn I'll give them well actually I could just dance and get Chloe to heal herself. That's true. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah. There. Alright. Yeah come on then. Well I'm actually gonna unwind Unwind? Rewind. Because I want to, um... I might as well use the Dragon Vein. I've got it, so I might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if you miss or not. It's fine. Where are we headed? got a rider's bane, that's why it's going to be bad for me. <laughs> Your damage does nothing. You will never be able to defeat me.
No, I see you got tricks, it's fine. Great rider's brain, brother. You do three damage to me. Okay, this will hurt, but that's understandable. Has Zidon also got an elf thunder? No. Okay, cool. Then he'll die. I think I might even full heal from this, strangely enough. You fucker. I'll punch you for two damage and waste your time. Alright then, mate. Have some of this. Yep. And because I used knacks, they all got broken. It's broken! Yeah, even these guys won't get much XP, but they can get something at least. Oh, I was on the verge of tears. Yeah, even this one shot, so I fight for my friends. I spawned level 7 to get more axe power, not that I'm going to use it, but I've got some. You can just run up with this and punch you to death. Poor thing. I like the purple power armor you get on when you wear that. Speed and res too good, more, more defensible against mages. I'm pretty already quite defensible against mages, but... I'll search one shots him. Right. Bonk. John is ridiculously strong though. Direct me. He is he is a lad. Of, among lads. Need help? Was that too much? Efficiency up. Okay, I might as well use my guy. No one desires war. Okay, now what Let's are we guys doing? What are we fun lads doing? Well, I mean, if we're going to do that, I might as well hit you from here. But okay, so say you're triple effective, you do 30 damage, which is actually 60 damage. But I assume it's triple effective. Okay, I think I can't remember whether effective in this game is double or triple. But that'd be uh, 44, so I can't really survive that. Is the problem. How much move do you get? Oh, you, you have enough. Okay, that's fine. I'll just guard then. A right and proper end. Because if you shoot me, you don't kill me. So. Get a load of this. Rest now. Level fourteen bond. Okay. They came to attack me, alright. Whatever you ask. I'm trying to save the day here. A 
Unforgivable. Another one dead. I could also re-warp myself if I ever need to. because I can't fly. Victory pose. Work up on level two, Lance Agility up. I should see what they do after I win. I had to stop you. Okay, you're dead. Heal up. Vulnery. Uh, it's not bad, but. Defense is so high, I can't do a lot, but luckily, it doesn't much matter because I can still absolutely demolish you like this. <laughs> is it go time? Use the last antitoxin I've got. Someone from far away. Can I even kill anyone? Don't know that I can. Oh, actually, I can shoot you. I can't retreat now. Just gets a kill on the board. It's just a nice, easy kill. Yes. Die, but you almost died. A good wind. Wind spawn level nine, speed plus three. Fourteen and then twenty-four would kill me if they both got a hit in. What does Solar Brace do? I don't know. All right. Okay, to we warp here because then they can't destroy the house, which I don't want them doing anyway. If you have a great axe and you attack me with anyone, you'll die, so it's fine. Then these guys. Not in too much of a hurry. That was tense. I can 
to you like this. It's a terrible state of affairs. You get five XP for killing at least as something. So I'm level seven, magic conveys two. We can keep charging you forward. Good fight. I I got this. Do that. If you attack me again, it's fine, I don't care. Who hasn't gone? Oh, Jean. You fool. Yeah, you'd kill me normally in, in usual situation, but... I was hoping for that they would not fuck with Yanaka because there was no point. So I did need to heal, that's fair enough. Oh lord, they come in. I'll let him fight John. I could use some tea after that. You engage yourselves. El fire. Nothing left of you. Okay, then I can explore this house. Well, let's one level fifteen, the sword of the creator. Which is a yeah, magic sword. Raises damage with my user's mag. Can strike close or at range. So, your breath ignores foe's defense and res and does 32 damage. So, unfortunately, I can't quite save this house just yet. But I can do soon. If that dragon wants to come and attack me, that's fine. Let him. I say let can't retreat now. Here until the end. Interesting that Goldberry has a sword and a uh, spit. Yeah, I should probably just go back towards the uh, the path. Only 18% chance to hit. It's not good enough. That's not going to do it. I know just where to strike. I am ready for a rest. No, 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 no. You silly bitches. I could use some tea after that. Sean is a menace. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. I have failed. Oh. Nice. Okay, she's stuck in the water now too. All right. This guy doesn't seem to. Have, well, he can hit with four tiles away, but. Yeah, I saw those troops on the shore. Be careful, all right? And take this. Might help. 
the recover stat. Nice. Come on then. Let's summon a hero. It is time. So I get uh, XP for doing that anyway. Level 11. Oh, I summoned Veronica herself. Interesting. Is that just good luck? Yeah, I mean, sure. The fuck you right up. Here goes. Can't do it here because I can't put a ground effect on a thing that already has a ground effect on it. And you can only move one tile, so. Hit him. Huh? He came here to hunt a couple thieves. What are you punks doing here? Now they can't move at all. I do like this song. It's very high octane, which I enjoy. The fireball have exactly four? Yes. Not that lad. The time for your death is at hand. Goodbye, friend. Alas. I withdraw for now, but we will meet again. Bye. Spirit dust to give plus two mag to anyone I want. Oh, sure. No. Defense plus three, more defense is more good. Okay. Even this won't kill me outright. Not a great look, though. Okay. This means we have to kill them next turn. Stopping me from moving sounds like a great idea. The sword of the creator. Yeah, he uses the lowest of either, but you're it's both the same, so it doesn't make any odds. Oh, that's just actually impassable. Alright. I'm fine with this. This worm has put me right on. Come in, boys, boyos. No, you fucked up now.
Do any of these guys have items? No, I don't think so. They're just reinforcements, so... Oh, get! We messed up with the wrong ombre. There's work to do. So you have a hurricane thing, which normally would do damage to me, but a bit, of, I just a little bit of poison. Poison? Okay. Nice. Oh, you're so fucking dead. Okay. Liberation. Guess I did it right. You hate to see it. But at the same time, you kind of love to see it. Come then, face me. <laughs> I'm by a bunch of weaklings. See ya. Fine, we'll call it even. Next time, though, you're dead. Super duper dead. I don't know. I feel like you're very dead. Alfred and Ike. Ten turns. The dream. See you guys next time when we find out the fallout from this little situation. See you then. Goodbye.